do you feel like the moment you step outside, step out the door that your dog loses all focus? Or do you feel like taking your young dog for a walk is just entirely too much work? In this video, Instructor Carol's gonna work with a shepherd cross named Lucy, and she's gonna give you a few quick tips on how to get way more attention from your dog, even when you're outdoors. I'm Ken Steep, this is Instructor Carol, and that is Lucy. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. I just finished working with short session with Lucy and she is a sweetie. Now, she's very calm, she's been very focused, she's not trying to take off and chase squirrels or birds, but through this video, you're gonna see the transformation because when we started out, she had me on a tight leash, she didn't know I existed, she was so interested in the outdoors. So you're gonna see that transfer transformation over a very short couple of minutes, but it's important to understand, I can't just do it once. I need to be consistent and do this multiple times with my dog if I want it to pay off. So Lucy's not my dog. And when we got out here, came outside, she was suddenly pretty interested in everything except me. Now, if that was my own dog, um, I wouldn't be too happy. I would feel that my relationship wasn't strong enough with my dog if I step outside and suddenly everything's more interesting than me. What do I mean by relationship? It's not just that I care about my dog or they love to play with me. The relationship really is, do they see me as um, their leader, someone that protects them, someone that gives them guidance? Do they want to interact with me? You know, I would say if I have a great relationship with my dog, when I use their name, I would want them responding at least 90% of the time when I say their name once because they respect me and they want to interact with me. I would also not expect my dog to say when we stepped outside, you no longer exist as a per except as a person holding me back from everything I want. I wanna talk quickly about what's called leash awareness. Highly technical term talking about being aware of the leash, the dog being aware. So this is a loose leash. There's no tension on that. It would be exactly the same if it was just being dragged on the ground, just like my long line is going to be. But if the leash is tight, that's a tight leash, but that is too. The dogs can feel that tension and they know that they're, um, that we're controlling them through that. And if I want to get my dog listening to me without having to use that leash, it's important in my training that I make sure it goes tight. I may fix it, but we're not going anywhere till that leash is loose. And you're gonna watch this next exercise. Watch how when she pulls on that leash, I deal with it, but I then go back to a loose leash. You can see Lucy's pretty excited about getting over there. We're about to go through the gate and she's anticipating that. You ever have that? You're leaving your house, your dog can't wait to go, they're pulling your arm off. Or they're fighting you to get out of that car to get to the park. Well. We're gonna change the, the game a little bit. In order to get where she wants to go, she's gonna have to focus on me. So my value is going way up because I provide that great area. Let's see how I work it. Ready? Oh, we're pulling. Oh, I exist. I do, yeah. Oh, good girlie. That's much better. So when she's on a loose leash, I'll, I'll praise her, yay. Good girl, and I don't need to reward with food because she's getting what she wants by going through there. That's the best reward ever. Yes, good girl, good girl. Oh, a little bit of tension, black and white. Yes, good girl, very nice. Yes, Lucy, good girl. Oh, I got gotcha. you. One more time, you're almost there. Yes, ready? there yes sit good girl nope, just a sit good girl so we got this far i got her attention her control um, so it's now she's acknowledging me before she gets to go in but that's going to be the hard part too so we're going to work entering there appropriately first you're gonna hold that sit thank you girly yes are you with me yes with me. good girl yes good girl Hey girly, yes. And now, you know what? That might be time for a little reward. Yes, good girly. What a good girl. So I'm setting, sit. So I'm setting the example of what it's gonna look like once we're in that park. Hey you, yay, yeah. Oh, it's gonna look like you and I are doing something together. Yes, it is, good girl.
So does that look like you walking into a park, going through the front door, um, letting your dog out of the car for the first time? No? Well, had I not done that little exercise, I wouldn't have looked like that either. Lucy, remember that first scene, Lucy pulling me, she would have pulled my arm off to get in there. So why is that first step of the walk the most important one it sets the pace so number one her having to settle and calm to get what she wants made her a little more thoughtful and not as out of control and not as stimulated so she, she could think number two because she really wanted that me saying you're going in on my terms her looking at me before we went in there says wow are you ever valuable to me as a as an owner or a handler because you provided that for me instead of i'm the person holding her back on the tight leash like everything there's always some tools involved and i want to talk about the tools i'm going to use now some people say oh, i don't want to train with food but i'm going to use every tool available to me to help now i'm not going to stuff food in her mouth but i am going to use it at least selectively to uh position her to make correct behaviors or the ones I want to see um, and add value to me. Now, I want you to think about people go to casinos all the time, not because they win every time, but that random reward. So I've got a few key treats. I'm not going to use them um, every time. I'm going to use them sparingly, but she's never going to know when she hits the jackpot and that little bit of cheese comes out. Now, I don't know what Lucy likes in the way of toys, but that's another great tool that if she likes those, can build value for me because I provide those just like the food. So I've got a little tug toy, I've got a little clock disc tucked uh, behind my back, and I've got a ball. So if she likes any of those, that's gonna help keep her focused on me out here. The other thing I'm going to do um, is I'm gonna put on a slightly larger leash. Just that little leash is pulling around. I'm gonna make sure her collar is not too loose. It's not, because if it's really loose or I have a really thin or slippery leash, um, she's able to pull and I can't give her any feedback that I don't want that. And I'm certainly not gonna give her harsh correction. She is a sweetie, um, but I do want her to have feedback that uh, I don't want you to ignore me or pull. So you're gonna see how I use this. And then probably the most important tool I'm gonna to use is um, what's called a long line. So, um, and it is essentially that highly technical term. It's just a long line, which I'm having trouble getting untangled. And it's got a clip on one end. And this is gonna allow me to give Lucy freedom, but not allow me to rehearse behaviors I hate to see her do. So um, I don't want a dog um, to run away from me and say, you're not important, especially not as it could be unsafe. She could run. We're working in a fenced area. So even if my footwork's not quick enough on this line, I can be sure that she's gonna be safe. But I'm gonna use this line so that if I talk to her, I can make sure that she can focus on me. I'm gonna make sure she's safe. And we're gonna show you how that's done. So we made it through that gate successfully, but, and she's focused on me at least somewhat, but I'm not gonna give her freedom immediately. What I'm gonna do is interact with her a little bit. So again, this is about me, not everything else. So now I might get my toy out. Oh yes, do you like that toy? Do you like that toy? Do you? Oh yes. Oh, you like it a little bit? Oh, you're good. Oh, oh I got you, yay! Oh, do you like the ball? Oh, you like the ball. You like the ball. Yeah, you get that. Oh, you get that thing. You get that thing. So we're having a little play. Now, instead of her thinking about everything else out here, she's thinking about interacting with me. Yeah. Woohoo. You're tangled up. You're tangled up. Oh, yes. Ready, set. Oh, you're a good pup. Yeah. We're going to play. So now I'm not fighting all the things in the park and the birds and the squirrels. I am the squirrel. I'm the most exciting. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Good girly. Good girl. Huh. Now I'm popping, but my little bit of work now is going to make my life so much easier. Now I'm ready to give her a little bit of freedom, but I'm going to have her earn it a little bit. I'm going to let that line drag. I'm going to get my leash. We're going to do a little walk and I'm going to do some response to name. And this is where my great treats might come out. Oh, and I will pick up my toy. Thank you, Lucy. Put that away. Okay. Let me do a little walk. Yes. Lucy! 
Lucy, yay, good girl. So wasn't a great response. I'm gonna praise it, but I'm not gonna feed that one. You gotta work hard to get my treats. Ready? Yes. Lucy, yes, good girl. Yes, oh, and now we're gonna have a treat. Now we're gonna get a treat. So I got a little bit of cheese. Oh, I'm gonna let her know. It is exciting to respond to your name. Good stuff, okay. Yeah, where are we going? Lucy, yes, good girly. Oh, you're brilliant, you're brilliant. Oh, yes, oh, good girly. And I'm not bribing her, there's no food in my hand. She has to earn it. Lucy, yes, good girl. It doesn't have to be hard. She was looking a little bit at me. I just want her to know if you respond to your name, it's gonna be wonderful. Now, I'm gonna take off her leash now and give her some freedom. But you know what I'm gonna do is, I don't want her to think leash comes off, oh, I get to go free and everything's fine. I'm actually gonna be all ready to be more exciting than the park. So I'm gonna take that leash off, I've got some treats, and instead of running off, and even if this is the first time you're taking your dog out, um, and they're so excited by everything, have great treats, but if I can get that leash off, then I'm gonna yay. So the long line's still on, so she's still safe. Oh, are you a good girl? Sit, yay, good girly, ready, down. Good, and if your dog doesn't know those commands, just use a little bit of food with me, yay. Oh, you're so smart. Lucy, yay, good work. Oh, good girly. Oh, you're so smart. There it is, there's that little piece. Good girl. And while she's still interested, oh, when I get the ball, I get the ball. Oh, so fun happens, fun happens. As soon as the leash comes off with me, yes. Oh, I'm finished. Hey, you, yes, good girly. Yes. Okay, we're done interacting, so you're just gonna have to go run around and be a dog. Yeah, you gotta just go around so you can see she's choosing to hang with me, even though I've given her the freedom. Okay, you go on, girly. You can go look around. Yeah. Yes. So you can see she's hanging around close, just because I provided all that value, instead of having her pulling, take off the leash, and she's totally focused on everything else. And I'm just gonna hang close. Notice I'm keeping the line on the ground. If I pick it up and I'm holding it, she figures out that I'm co controlling her with these lines, just like the leash. But if it's on the ground and I can just step on it if I need to, it's like a magic force field. So she'll learn there's a certain perimeter she needs to stay around me. And while she's on that long line, I'm gonna continue to offer her some challenges. Lucy, yes, good girl. So you can see the leash came off and instead of her running off, if she'd done, if she was pulling on that leash and you've probably seen your dog do, they, you know, if they get loose, they're gone. Instead, she's choosing to hang in close to me she says, you're suddenly more interesting. Now that's not gonna last forever, for sure. She's gonna see something interesting. Now I'm letting this long line drag. And if I picked it up, she's gonna know that I'm controlling her, you know, same as a leash. But if it just drags on the ground, it's a little bit of a magic force field. And you're gonna see how I use it. I'm gonna offer a little challenges while she's off leash. Lucy, yahoo, good girly, what a good girl. And again, that's where my little bit of food's gonna come in, especially early on in my walk. I'm just setting in her mind, responding to your name, get you something great. And then go play. So I'm giving her permission to go and hang out, be a dog, what a good girl. If at any time she saw a squirrel or was headed for the road, I could just step on that line. Lucy, woohoo, you're so smart. Yahoo, yes you are, look at you. Oh, are you ready? Do you want that ball? Oh, you don't know? Are you ready? You don't want a ball. Oh, you like that? Do you like that? Oh, you like it if I'm running? Yeah, you like it if I'm running even better. Yes. Good girl. Here you go, be a dog. And you can see she's choosing me, even though I'm not carrying a mitt full of food or bribing her. I'm telling her to have freedom. I'm letting her sniff around. She's getting some exercise. Now, if she didn't respond, so first let's say 
she sees a squirrel, she sees another loose dog. All I'm gonna do, haha, <laughs> you're a good girl, you wouldn't do that, would you? I bet you would if you saw a squirrel. Uh, all I would do is step on that line so she can't be successful. Now notice as she's getting to the end of that line, I've been calling her name. So I always have the ability to step on that, stop her. The other thing is, what if she doesn't respond to her name? So if that happened, uh, maybe if we go over to that tree, would that be exciting and you could have a little sniff? Oh, it's over there. Wanna go check that out? So if she didn't respond to her name, um, so if I said, we'll see, oh, you're silly. Yes, so if she didn't, you go sniff so I can show this. So I'm not gonna sit, but say I said her name and she didn't. I'm just gonna step on that line and I'm gonna walk up the line and then I can repeat her name. Lucy, yay, good girl. And no food for that one, but I'm certainly gonna praise. Her responding is wonderful. But you know what? I'm just gonna clip that leash back on. So she's losing a little bit of freedom just for a couple of minutes. So she's gonna learn when you respond to your name, great things happen, food, toys, play, interaction, and you get to be free right away again. But this time, hey you, you're gonna do a little walk with me. Yes, you are. And then in another minute or so, I can. Lucy, yahoo, good girly, what a good girl. Yes, you are brilliant, good stuff. Yes, good girl. Lucy, yay, you're so smart, see it? Yes, good girl. Oh my gosh, I got trouble getting that off there. I got trouble getting it off. Go break, there you go, go be a dog. You could see early on, she wanted no part of me. She was pulling on that leash, everything is exciting. Now she's tending to hang reasonably close. I'm getting attention. And if I call her name, Lucy, yoo-hoo, <laughs> good girly, you're so smart. Oh, you're so smart, oh. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned because I was busy focusing on Lucy, but a very important thing with the dog is she's checking in, looking at me occasionally quite a bit, a lot more than the very beginning, right? So when she checks in of her own volition, when she decides she's gonna look at me, I wanna capture those moments. I'm gonna say yes to pinpoint, that's a fantastic thing. And then I'm gonna reward with food. So I've, yes, good girl, yay. And I'll get more of that now, I don't even care if she jumps up. Come on up here, girly, come on, come up, up, yay. I don't mind her jumping up. I'm trying to build a relationship, and if I'm allowing her to, that's a fine thing. And then I can tell her off and help her off. Good girl, good girl. And then I'm gonna put away the food, and I'm gonna tell her, go be a dog, go be a dog. And I'll wait till she checks in again. Yes, good girl. What a girl, you are brilliant. Yay, okay, you go be a dog. And it doesn't always, yes, oh, it could be some play. It could be some play. Yay, you're so brilliant. Or if your dog likes toys, it could be pulling out a toy. So anything to let them know, paying attention to me. Yay, what a change from the beginning, huh? When you didn't even acknowledge I existed pulling me. Yeah, you're a good girl. Okay, you go be a dog. Yeah problem to have. Your dog pays too much attention to you on a walk. Whether you have a young dog or an older dog, you can still do this. Now, first go back, assess your relationship. Say, do I have all the foundation I need? If you think you need more, click on this video for a few foundational exercises, getting your dog working outside. And on that note, I'm Carol. This is Lucy. Happy training.